This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. It's hot. I can practically feel the sun working its way through and burning my skin. I don't care what it is, the ocean or the lake, I just feel like jumping into some water. I start to walk. There should be a small corner supermarket a little bit ahead of here. But that was a while ago, there's no telling if it's still open. Or maybe it's turned into a giant supermarket instead, who knows. But if there's one place I wish it would stay the same, this neighborhood would be it. A passing housewife stops her bicycle and looks in my direction. When I look at her, I recognize her as a regular customer from when I worked there for a cow of bread. Sup? Yeah, I, I guess. I'm just going right over there. What? This is nothing for me. Excuse me? I turn around. Ushio is by my feet. She's swaying left and right, probably because of the heat. She seems to be on the verge of collapsing. Gah! What the heck are you doing following me? The housewife must have figured out what's going on from my reaction. She rides off on her bike. Hey, you. I look down at Ushio as I ask her. Didn't I tell you to be a good girl and wait? But she's hungry now. You don't even have a hat on, and it's too hot out here for to not. Hey, what's wrong? Tell me. Choose what? Then tell me when I first ask you. She doesn't know what McDonald's has, though. She starts to sway left and right again. Damn it, we're going home. We return to the house. For your punishment, I'm forcing you to eat fried rice for lunch, whether you want to or not. I go for the familiar emotions of making it. Here, eat. The plate full of fried rice makes a fud when I place it on the table in front of Ushio. It looks ridiculous, dwarfing her tiny body. Maybe it's her favorite. She scoops it with a spoon and pops it in her mouth. Aww. Bitter? I try taking a bite, but it tastes the same as always. Black dots? Oh, pepper? Sorry, but it's not fried rice without a little bit of pepper. You're just gonna have to eat it. Hey now, doesn't Sanai-san tell you not to be picky about your food? Ouch. The animation in this scooping the rice was so cute. <laughs> oh. Then don't eat. Time passes, but Ushio stays seated in front of her now cold plate of fried rice. Are you serious? Fine, so I just need to take the pepper out? No other choice, I ask her. It's not going to taste good without the pepper, you know. Wouldn't you rather have something that's not fried rice? Rice? Just plain white rice? Well, that makes my job easy. I find a bowl and put a mound of rice in it. I don't notice until later, but when I take a closer look at the cupboard, I see a separate tableware for Ushio. Did I just use the old man's bowl for the rice? It's huge. But it's too late to swap bowls now, I put it in front of Ushio. Here, rice. I replace the dish of fried rice with the bowl. Now all that's in front of Ushio is a single rice bowl piled high with right, right, white rice. It almost looks like I'm bullying you. Well, you, you kind of were. Fine, here, you can have a fried rice combo with a side of white rice. How's that? I try putting the fried rice back on the table. <laughs> she pushes it back toward me. What the heck are you doing? But like I just said, that makes it look like I'm bullying you. Ushio jumps up and heads to the kitchen. When she comes back, she has a small packet in her hands. What's that? She gleefully tears it open and sprinkles what's inside on top of the rice. Seasoning? She starts eating it as if it tastes delicious. So brats like you prefer rice with the seasoning packets over fried rice? Well, that's nice and easy, I suppose. Stop calling her a brat. She's sweet. But there's no way we could do the same thing for dinner, too. I hope Sanai-san is back by then. Ushio keeps scarfing down the rice, making a high clattering noise as she does it. <laughs> it's past 9 p.m., but the two still aren't back. How long do they plan on keeping this joke going? They want you to go on the trip with her, bro! Though we had to wait lunch, it's late enough for both of us to be getting hungry again. While I can make myself wait, Ushio is a different story. 
the two of us end up going to the supermarket together, where we pick out our favorite pre-made dinners to eat. 11 p.m. If it's this late, they probably don't plan on coming home tonight. Had I left Ushio here earlier and gone back home, it would have led to a terrible situation. You can't laugh something like this off as a joke. Ushio plays by my side until then, and before I know it, she's asleep. Yeah! She's like six or something? Actually, she, she's in kindergarten. She's younger than six. She's five. 11 p.m. is late to be staying up. I wonder if she'll stay there sleeping until morning. If she does, I'll be able to get some nice restful sleep, too. For now, I grab a towel hanging in the bathroom and drape it over her. I turn off the lights and lie down next to her. What a strange day. I fall asleep, hoping that when I wake up, the old man and sanai -san will have gotten back. The next morning, I open the store's shutter and face the morning sun. Because of the time of day, it's still cool outside. I stretch my arms out a bit and look out into the distance. Perhaps, I think, the old man and sanai -san are walking back here at this very moment. I wait with hope in my heart. Sensing company, I look down next to my legs. I don't know when she woke up, but Ushio is there. She must want them to come home soon, too. The two of us wait for sanai -san, as well as for the old man. We must look pathetic, like a pair of young siblings waiting for their parents. Ushiko. Yeah, go. Uh. She trots away. Once she finishes, she comes back. Good for you. Of course you did. Maybe that's something to celebrate for her. <laughs> Even as we eat breakfast, we stand there together. A family with a child of their own passes by in front of us. They're holding a big bag. Are they going back to the country to visit their own parents? Or are they going on a vacation? Oh. I look at Ushio's face. Her eyes are following the profile of the smiling, joyful child. Her face looks pitifully lonely. I know, he, he's, he did reverse character development. Hey, what? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, then go. She trots away. Once she finishes, she comes back. Are you going to be proud of yourself every time? Even I can do that! <laughs> yeah, dude! You're an adult! If you couldn't do that, I'd be very worried. <sighs> this poor girl. Also, keep in mind how important upbringing is for all characters. Yeah. I stick my hand in my pocket. There I find Sanai's crumbled note that I jammed inside it. I take it out and read over the reverse side. Hey. Oh. Why don't we go? The two of us. On a trip. <laughs> Yes! You should have done that yesterday, you lackwit! <laughs> Are you really fine going with just me? The old man won't be there, and sanai -san won't be there either. You're right. They're not coming. Then why don't the two of us go? She smiles just a little. With the old man and sanai not around, she probably is not as happy as she could be. But it's still better than not going at all. Let's get ready. Ushio comes back wearing her already packed backpack. sanai packed it, so it should have everything she needs. I put on my own backpack. Maybe just double check to make sure... I guess we locked all the doors? Can you check to make sure the back windows aren't open? Mm. The two of us work together to make sure the house is locked up. She Great, then we're all okay. Time to go! Uh. <laughs> Yay. Ushio raises her hand and cheers us on. With that, we begin to walk. Whoa, this song. I walk while checking the directions on the back of the note we've been given. What do they have over here again? Was it mentaiko? Mentaiko is a kind of marinated pollock or cod roe that is often spicy. I will pass. <laughs> No, maybe not. Hey, Ushio. When I call her name, she trots over to me and stands by my side. What do you want to do? Do you want to eat something tasty, or do you want to swim, or do you want to see some pretty scenery, or do you want to meet a lot of foreigners? Seriously? You really know how to live it up, don't you? And anyway, it's not like we're going overseas, so we're not going to be able to meet a bunch of foreigners. Just choose one. 
Like I said, you can't pick everything. Well, okay, we'll go with Mentaiko. Mentaiko? Yeah, our goal on this trip is to eat Mentaiko. That's it, okay? It's delicious when you eat it on top of rice. I'm telling you, try it once and you'll never be able to eat plain old seasoning again. She seems to understand that it's better than rice seasoning at the very least. Hanashimi. Aw, she starts to smile. The express tickets that Sanai-san prepared us can only be used on the days you reserve them for, so they're useless now. Yep, congratulations, you just wasted two express tickets. So instead, we decide to transfer from rapid train to rapid train to cover the distance. It's not that much more of an inconvenience, so there's no reason to pay the extra money for an express ticket. Aww! They were still getting new backgrounds. The train is bustling with other families, but all of them have both a father and a mother. If Nagisa were alive, I bet she'd be sitting right next to me. And in that case, would I have been a proper father to her instead? Would I have always been in her memories of summer break? This trip is too painful for me to take. Young Komura is in here. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. How long has the train been rocking me back and forth? I wake up as I feel something beating it against my thigh. Asonde? Ushio is looking up at me. Huh? Oh. I was sleeping. I was sweating in my sleep. I grab my collar to move it back and forth to fan myself. Asonde? She repeats herself. Maybe she's gotten bored of the scenery outside. Play with you? By doing what? What do you normally do when you play with Sanai-san? Books? Well, we don't have any books here. He was so senile, he forgot he's old and returned to his younger self. Hey, don't be mean to Komura. He's one of the best characters. What about when you play with the old man? <laughs> Baseball? Ushio jumps out of her seat and stands in the aisle. She then puts her hands together and poses as if she's holding a bat. It's a unique stance. Komada. Komada. No, Hihiro Komada is a former Japanese professional baseball infielder who played for the Yo Yoimuri Giants and the Yo Yokohama Bay Stars. He is known in part for his unique batting form. He's teaching you to impersonate players? No, not at all. Hmm. She comes and climbs back into her seat. I can't believe the ridiculous party tricks he's teaching a girl like you. And who's gonna laugh at that joke anyway? I don't understand who the audience is supposed to be. Me? I can't do any impersonations. <laughs> Something funny, eh? I only ever do things to amuse myself, like play pachinko. I don't know what other people would find amusing. Especially when it comes to children. Yeah, I've got nothing. She stares at me for a while, but when I don't say anything, she gives up and goes back to looking out the window. Aww. As she does that, I feel like the high-spirited shouts from the other children get even louder. I try to close my eyes to get back to sleep, but I can't help but be bothered by them. I hear what sounds like a strange sh shrill scream directly behind me. SHUT UP! I stand up unable to take any more. Don't you know how to be considerate of the people around you? Why? Man, he really became a huge jerk after the time skip. I see a mother trying to protect her child. Damn it. I sit back down. The seat next to mine is empty. Ushio? I stand up and look around. Ushio! The mother from just a moment ago looks at me suspiciously. Yep. Damn it. Where did she go? Oh, man. A different woman lets me know. I see. Thank you. Oh, man. I find the train conductor standing there. He begins to ask me when I come to a stop. Yeah. I see. Well, I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, yeah. About another ten minutes after the conductor leaves, Ushio finally comes out of the bathroom. You need to say something to me if you're going to go to the bathroom? Oh, you need to say something to me if you're going to go to the bathroom. Do you understand? Mm. You were asleep, dude. Are your eyes red? Mm. 
Really? Well, okay then. We're going back. The two of us sit back down side by side. Raising my voice earlier seems to have worked, as the car is quiet now. But all of the uproar has wiped away any feelings of drowsiness I had. I look next to me. Lucia was sitting still, looking out the window. When I see her tiny feet facing me, I start to feel sad, too. I... just made you cry, didn't I? Lucio, I'm asking you a question. She looks at me. I made you cry just now because I raised my voice, didn't I? Why are you lying to me? I can see that your eyes are puffy. Who said that? Seriously? She's stricter than I thought. Where is it okay to cry? Where is that? That's sad. So that's why she took it upon herself to run over to the train bathroom if she had never even been in before. Well, yeah, you can cry in a bathroom without anyone else knowing, but... Are you always crying in the bathroom? But what if you're outside? Come on. This poor girl. Are you being serious? But doesn't that make you feel even sadder? I don't understand why Sanai-san is teaching her such things. I think it's alright for you to cry when you feel like crying. Once you get bigger, there are going to be a lot of times where you have to hold it in, even though you feel like crying. So you should cry while you still have the chance. Do you really understand me? Is she afraid of me now? All she's done is reply to my questions of a single word. I pull out my wallet and look inside. There's a little bit I can spend. Ushio, we're getting off at the next station. We're making a stop. We get off at a station I've never been to before and enter a department store connected to it. There I buy a toy for Ushio. Aww! Yay! Now you won't be bored, right? Aww. She looks happy. But is that really what you wanted? Ushio is holding a stumpy robot the size of her palm. Its design is amusingly behind the time, so I ended up suggesting it to her before I realized what I was doing. Ushio immediately decided on the toy. But when I step back and think about it, who would really want it? Not even a boy, let alone a girl. Maybe it's some kind of reproduction model for nerds? Wow! Did you seriously just say that? <laughs> kind of. You know, you should have bought something that was really cute, not just kind of cute. Seriously? You have weird taste. You need to recognize that. Well, I'm going to sleep. You have fun playing with that thing. I can finally relax. Or so I think as I close my eyes. Same people are on every train we get on. It's the craziest thing. Ween. <laughs> Wee. Gurk. Gah! Gurk. Gah! Kasha! Kasha! You took the words right out of my mouth! Did you, Oh, did we get her the ear splitter space cadet? <laughs> Wait, so that toy makes noise? Oh no. She looks like she's on the verge of tears. No! You don't have to hold it in, just cry. She shakes her head no. Then go to the bathroom. Is that so? Also, no more making those noises. It doesn't just annoy me, it bothers everyone around us, too. Well, at least you're obedient. Yet again, I try to go back to sleep. Hmm, poor girl. I can't exactly tell whether I'm awake or dreaming. I see Ushio the entire time. She's sitting still, staring at the passing scenery. She's pressing the robot in her hands to the window. I wonder if she's having fun on her summer vacation. So much fun that she'll be able to brag to her friends about it. I suppose there's no way she'd be having fun when she's alone with her scary dad. It's our first trip together, but... Lucio seems lonely. She's by herself, and all she has is this scenery. Mm. This makes you want to have a daughter? <laughs> if so, be a, <laughs> be a good parent. 
Or at least try to be a good parent. <laughs> be, be, be better than Tomoya is being. <laughs> the sun is already setting, is starting to set by the time we reach the first day's destination. I checked the name of the situation against the Nisan's notes. Okay, this is it. Let's go, Ushio. We pass through the ticket gates and find ourselves in an unknown land. I look down at Sanai-san's notes. Use the bus to go to the zoo and then head to our room for the night. The zoo, huh? I did not... I don't think I scrolled up there. We're going to wait here for the bus, Ushio. The two of us line up in front of the bus stop. We wait a while, but the bus still doesn't show. I check the timetable. God, one an hour?! If we took a taxi, we wouldn't have any money left for the train ride home. Wait, do we even have enough time? Sanai-san's notes have us arriving at our hotel at 6 p.m. We have a reservation, so we should be able to delay our check-in as long as I contact them first. Hold on. We're one day behind schedule, aren't we? Ushio. We can go to the zoo next time. We don't have time. We have to find somewhere to stay the night, too. She looks like she's about to cry. I have to do this for a bunch of reasons. Can't you figure that much out? And anyway, there are zoos everywhere. You don't have to come out here to the middle of nowhere just to go to a zoo, you know. The animals? Oh. Or do you want to change our plans and go to the zoo tomorrow? We won't be able to go to this Cape something or other if we do, but... Well, make up your mind. This one, uh, has a field of flowers. Wouldn't you rather go to the zoo? Oh, so you like flowers better? At least that's girly of you. Okay, then let's head to the hotel for tonight. I wonder if this place still has rooms open. Let's go. Mm. We go back to the train station, and I call the hotel we had originally planned to stay at. We need to move, Ushio. They're full, so we're going to have to find a place on our own. She probably doesn't understand what I just said. She looks anxious. I'll hold your bag, so walk a little faster. No matter how much I try to hurry her along, her feet continue to be unsteady and meandering. Is this her idea of running? It would be faster if she just walked normally. What are we going to do if everywhere is full? I don't have anyone to lay the blame on, either. So this is how limited you are when you have to do something with a kid. You also didn't do it when you should have. By the time 9 comes around, we're finally able to settle down in a room at a small inn. But since I don't have enough cash on hand, I'll need to wake up early the next morning to find a bank. I can't believe how much work this is. I don't feel like doing anything after just getting out of the bath, so I go straight to sleep. The last thing I see before dozing off is Ushio's profile as she stares, engrossed, at the television. Alright, I think I'm going to end the stream there. Wow, a whole lot happened there. Ushio. And you know, the interesting thing is, according to the guide that I'm reading, we have to do three playthroughs of After Story, which is crazy. Well, this did not go the way that I thought it was going to go, but I can't say After Story is not interesting. I'm also not sure if I'll be able to stream Clan next week, because uh, Thanksgiving week I'll be spending it with my family. So... Not really sure. I'm, I'm going to say don't plan on another Clonod stream next week. I'll probably continue the week after that. Thank you all so much for joining in. This was a lot of fun. I appreciate you having you all in Twitch chat. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.